Hello, and welcome to the final section of this video course. In the previous section, we discussed about interactive plots in our charts. Here, we will use everything we learned so far to create a fully featured website to load and plot custom datasets. For doing this, we will use Shiny, which is an R package that allows to create websites directly from R. We will see how to create simple websites and then we will add controls and functionalities. The result will be something that I'm sure you'd never imagined you could do. In this first video, we're going to introduce Shiny. In this video, we will see where to find more information and help about Shiny, and what Shiny can do. Then we will start looking at some example code to understand the basics of a Shiny website. Shiny is an R package created by the same team who created RStudio. On the main website, shiny.rstudio.com, you can find a lot of information and tutorials about it. In particular, if you have never used Shiny before, it may be a good idea to take a look at the tutorials they provide and the gallery of examples. There is also a section with articles which explains various aspects of Shiny that again may be useful for beginners. However, here I will try to explain everything you need to know to start playing with this package. Great, now that we've covered the introduction, we can start understanding the basics of a Shiny website. Let's take a look at this image. This is how a typical website looks from the user side. We can divide it into two parts. The left hand side has a title and a slider in which the user can decide the number of bins of the histogram. This is the input panel of the website. Here, the user interacts with the website. On the right side, we have the histogram, which reacts if the user changes the number of bins. This is the output area of the user interface. We can take a look at the script to create this website on shiny.rstudio.com slash articles slash basics.html. The first part of the script is ui.r. Here we can create the user interface for our website. We can create a title for the page just by using the function title panel. The next step is the creation of the slider, which needs to be in the sidebar panel. That is the left side of the website. Here, we can specify that we want to create a slider as input so that the user can change its value and this is transferred to the server side. The first name, bins, will be used to identify this input on the server side. The final part of the UI creation is the main panel. This is the larger area on screen and it is occupied by a plot with plot output. The name inside this function will be used to identify the output on the server side. The other part of any Shiny script is the server script. Here, the inputs from the UI are computed and the results are then exported back to the UI main panel. As you can see, we first need to set the output of our computations, referring to the ID of the plot. Inside this, we can specify the options and type of plot. In particular, we need to include the user input, so the plot is interactive. In this video, we looked at the basics of how to create a shiny website.